This is the fifth in a series of training bytes covering the control and customization of UVM reports. If you haven't already, we recommend you take the basics training byte first. This covers the terminology and the functionality of reports and gives you some useful tips on message defines and some basic guidelines. But in this training byte, we'll cover file logging, methods to write your reports to external files. So the reason why you may want to log your reports, perhaps you've got a UVC in your environment which is causing problems, you might want to write all reports just from that UVC to a separate file, you can then send the file to the UVC developer and that will help you understand what's going on in that UVC. And we may want to dump reports from different parts of our hierarchy to different files to help us debug the environment and work out what's going on. Now remember, all of our output is written to xrun.log or irun.log with the Cadence Simulator, but we can also write the output to other files. Now to log our reports, we need four separate things, and we need all of these. First of all, we need to have a file declaration. So here I'm using Verilog 2001 syntax to call an fopen to associate the warnfile.txt in write mode with a local file identifier warnfile. Then I need to set a UVM log action for the report, and we showed you how to do this in the previous training byte on action control. So here I'm adding the UVM log action for all of my warning messages. And then I need to set a file destination for the report, and we'll show you how to do this on the next slide. And then finally we need a suitable verbosity setting. Remember, if your reports are going to be hidden by the verbosity setting, they're not going to be processed, and therefore they will not be written to external files. So a good tip here, when you are doing file logging, choose a high verbosity for the parts of your hierarchy that you want to write to files. And remember, you need all four of these things. If any of them are missing, then you will, your reports will not be written to your external files. Let's show you how to uh, define the file destination. So there's four methods to do this. They're listed here in the order of precedence from low to high. First of all, we can set a default file for everything in a certain hierarchy, or we can set a file by the severity of the report. We can set a file uh, destination by the ID of a report. And finally, with the highest precedence, we can set a file destination by a combination of a report severity and report identifier. Now these methods come in two forms, hierarchical and non-hierarchical. The non-hierarchical forms are just have the name without the underscore h-i-e-r on the end of the method name. They affect only a single part of the hierarchy to which they're applied. The hierarchical forms, as shown here, apply to the component to which they're applied and everything under that component. Take note of the precedence order here. Your report will only be written to a single file. You cannot write a report to multiple files using these methods. So let's show you an example. So here I have opening four separate files, UBC1, error, packet file, and VIF file. I'm then going to add the log action for all of my info messages and also for all of my error messages. Then I'm going to set a default file destination under the hierarchical path tb.uvc1. So all of my reports in the uvc1 hierarchy we've written to uvc1 file. But then I set a severity file destination for all of my error messages. This will take priority over the uvc1 default file destination. Then I have an id file destination that's going to pick up all of my reports with a PKT ID and write them to the packet file. That takes precedence over the previous two method calls. And finally, with the highest precedence, I'm going to send all of my error messages with a no VIF ID to the VIF file. So when I run this simulation, what reports are going to end up in the UVC1 file? Well, all my errors are going to go to error file or VIF file. All of my ID PKT reports are going to end up in packet file. So what I'm going to be left with in the UVC1 file is all of the UVM info reports 
from the UBC1 hierarchy which don't have the PKT ID. So this shows you the precedence order for doing the file logging. Hey, that was simple. So this byte covered file logging for reports. In the next bytes, we're going to cover customization of your reports with catchers and servers. Thank you.